वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल टुडे आई एम गोन सो यू हैव टू प्रोड्यूस द एक्यूरेसी असेसमेंट ऑफ लैंड यूज एंड द लैंड कवर मैट यर आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर द लैंड यूज एंड द लैंड कवर मैट सो फॉर दिस यू हैव टू गो विद द आर्क टूल बॉक्स हियर इन द स्पेशल एनालिस टूल यूल सी दियर and in the special analysis tools go to the segmentation and the classification you will see the create accuracy assessment point so click on that uh, so for that use the lulc map which you have prepared with the supervised i have uh, made the supervised classification or any other classification so for the output accuracy you can save um, what you want to save uh, in your uh work file so here you can save and then so if you get to the target uh, it will take some times here now in the target i have used the uh, classified and for the number of the random uh, points i made the 100 points or as you want you can make the maximum point for the better result and take the random sampling so here now you will get the accuracy uh, points you will say uh, check the ground truth uh, points from there so you can uh, change the size as well as the color of the ground accuracy points which you later use in the google earth So now, if you go to the accuracy points uh, attribute table, you will see the uh, ID field shape uh, and classifications with the ground truth point. So here it is not uh, defined, so we have to edit this all these ground truth point. And in the classified, you will see the two uh, one two seven. Uh, So now, here this one uh, to seven refers to the LULC classification. So if you go to the LULC uh, properties, you will see there uh, in the symbology section you will see the number one to uh, seven. So uh, make the confirmation of the one to uh, seven in which classification it belongs. So here now for the uh, uh, for easiness, I will uh, edit there with the one. uh to likewise so it will helps uh for further so now uh for the google earth you have to uh change these accuracy points uh into kml file so go with the conversion to a uh, layer to kml we found with the search tool box now click on uh, that and here in the layer to the kml file in the layer uh, use that accuracy points and in the output file uh, save where you want to uh, save in your org file as previous So give a name for that. So this uh, file will uh, appear as a KML file. So it it is already uh, done. So now uh, open the Google Earth and go to the file and import that uh, KML file. Check out all the files here. So you uh, see the your KML file. Click that and open it. Now you'll get all the accuracy points here in the Google Earth. Uh, now we'll check the uh, ground truth point as it was accurate or not. So point wise, uh, with the ID point, FID point, you can see. Uh, for the two, the classified was two, and check the uh, ground truth point. It was correct or not. 
so for that first go to the properties of the accuracy point and um, open the attribute table here now you have to edit uh, the ground truth uh, points so you have to start uh, the editing Uh, so now click on the accuracy points and you can edit the feature and start editing uh, now you can change the points in the text so Edit picture is open <coughs> so if you see in the two uh, zoom out uh, that area and see if uh, that was correct or not as per the classified by the GIS So you can zoom as for the proper investigation here. So two is the uh, two refers to the tree here, and if it it is two, you can put the trees as the two. Now uh, go to the next point. Yeah. so for the uh, year we get the three and classification was two so check that once if it was three or not so that was three with this so you can write um put there two similarly for the next point six it was also two with the forest area with the trees so you can put uh, the two so here you can write two uh, similarly for all the hundred points check out thoroughly in which point in, in which uh, it refers to with the classification that will match with the LULC map or not and it did all these in these tables so it is finished here i move the fast forward so here save the edit you can save it and after finishing you can stop uh, edit so here all the ground truth point was uh, rechecked here You cancel it out and again if you check in with the activity table you will see the edit which we have edit so now uh, for the computation you can uh, see the computation configuration matrix here so input that accuracy assessment uh, last edited one which you have edit and put their output what you want to save so here you can save it and click ok 
here you get the computation a configuration matrix now open that file the table file so here you get the accuracy assessment with the uh, here is the kappa coefficient accuracy as well and uh, for the uh, different uh, land use classification you can get all each uh, classifications accuracy as well with the total and the average accuracy assessment as well so in this way you can uh, check your land use and the land um, use and land classification if that was the correct or not you have to validate and calibrate everything you have done um, 